All right, so I'm gonna take you guys on a tour of uh, Gold's Gym Ladies, and basically I'm just gonna show which one needs to be done and which one um, is actually done. All right, so uh, entrance still covered, of course, and then we have this right there. It's a sticker, and there's one correction that needs to be done, which is the B. This is supposed to be Russian Federation, but they actually made a mistake of um, putting a B instead of a D. Um, reception's almost done, so it's actually nice, but there are still some small details that need to be addressed. Like, for example, the paint over here and the corners. Okay, like that. And if you check, actually, um, stuff are not yet installed. So the microphone's been installed, which is great. And um, this world map needs to be adjusted. So you can see from here. Okay, and some details that needs to be fixed. Moving on to the back office. I feel like this door right here Okay, this door needs to be painted. Okay, delivery, some delivery has actually been done. It is such a pain to get stuff approved here because whenever you bring something to the gym, you have to go down, get approval, all, all that stuff, and you can't just deliver something without, you know, approval from both companies. Um, well, Gold's Gym requesting approval from the mall management and stuff like that. Uh, this is still such a mess. This is the manager's bathroom um, toilet. Not bathroom, sorry. Yeah, it looks dirty and dirty. What else? Oh, there are gaps if you see that, a gap between the flooring and the wall. So uh, that you see that. So basically we had best control come over, uh, which is what you see right there. They have, they have signage all over the place, um, to, I guess to the areas that need to be paid attention or some areas that needs to be looked into. And it's all over the gym. Oh, one more thing are the wallpapers. They're really horrible. Uh, so these are the wallpapers. It looks kind of okay in one glance, but if you look down, you see that yellow part. So it's starting to peel off. If you, if you look down or at the corners, you can see that it's peeling off. So I don't know, um, I've pointed it out a couple of times, but nothing's been done. So I don't know, maybe they need more time. I'm not sure. What else? Oh, this is the assessment room. So they say it's done. However, there is a glass partition between the office and the assessment room. And I don't think the clients would be comfortable, you know, taking off some clothing. They're not gonna be completely naked, but you know, some, some of them are covered and they need to take off their jacket or whatever. And they won't be comfortable having someone look at them do it. <laughs> so this area needs to be um, covered with either a curtain, a tint, or something like a, I forgot what you call it. Ugh, my memory sucks. Anyway, this one also needs to be addressed, including the office area. 
because you don't want the client to be walking in and then they look at the managers and just, you know, come into the office. You know, especially if it's an important meeting. Some people, they do that. They just barge in and shit. Um, yeah, this one too. I don't know if it's a good idea to cover it, but I think it is. Hmm. Okay, this door right here, it's a service door, and it's going to be locked. Okay, but that needs to be painted. It looks horrible that way. This is the restaurant area. Okay, so there's going to be a company that's going to rent out this area. So they're going to be right here. And we provide these furnitures. And they're going to sell food, more of a diet food and stuff. The next one is a merch store. It's going to be a store. Okay, but this one is going to be managed directly by Gold's Gym because it's mainly gonna be merchandise from directly from Gold's Gym that we're gonna be selling. Um, this is like a waiting area or whatever. They can sit down right there. And then there's gonna be plants over here. Okay, so there's gonna be plants. So it's gonna look really good. There's gonna be greens and they're actually not plastic plants. They're actually live plants. Okay, moving on to the cardio area. We've got the cardio area right here. Alrighty. It's a huge cardio area. You see that? So there are about 18 treadmills, six cross trainers, six ascent trainers, and there are crank cycle, which is something like a hand ergometer. Okay, and of course you have your upright and recumbent bikes right there and to the end. And your stair climbers, which women love. Okay, so stair climbers, favorite. Not just women, but bodybuilders love stair climbers. I know some bodybuilder, um, bodybuilders, they do it as a warm up for about 10 minutes to get their motivation started. You know, especially during the days when you don't feel like working out, you need to start with a warm up to get your mind into working out. Okay, there's this machine that's quite new to me. It's actually very interesting. It's, um, I forgot what you call it, but I think it's S4C or something like that. So this is by Matrix. It is pretty interesting. What else? Um, yeah, that's about it for the cardio area. Now we will move on to the strength zone, which is honestly, I think it's not much machines. And if I were to design this whole thing over again, I would reduce the cardio um, machines and increase the strength machines because Strength machines are very important, you know, building lean body mass and stuff like that. And compared to the cardio machines, the strength machines is not even like one half of the cardio equipment. So, yeah. I mean, for cardio, you can always have something that's creative. You don't really need much machines for that. But anyway, yeah. These are the strength machines, and most of them are leg machines. So We've got leg extension, leg curl. This is a calf raise machine. We've got leg press, two abductor adductor machines, and assisted, no, actually not assisted. It's a pull-up dip machine, and you can also use it for leg raises. a glute kickback machine. This is a machine I love. It's a hip thruster. So it's, I thought that it was unique. So you don't have to, you know, <laughs> have a hard time 
setting up your hip thruster workout with a barbell and, you know, um, a bench and yeah, that, that, that setup is a pain. So all you need to do is set this machine up, load it up with the weights and you're good to go. And when you're done, just take off the weights that easy. Hmm. And okay, this is, an, this is an upper body machine. It's a bicep curl. And then an assisted pull-up dip machine. We've got some ab machine right here. Um, two of them, one is an ab crunch and the other one is a torso twist. All right, and GHD, one of my favorites, because if you are going to do some CrossFit-based workout or something similar, this one is part of the workout. And of course, hack squats, something I didn't have in my previous gyms. Actually, no, my last gym had a hack squat, but I didn't like the design and it was uncomfortable on the knee. This one, I like the design. And this is plate loaded. The other one was selectorized. Um, moving on to the free weights area. Okay, we've got a jungle. It's an eight station jungle. And then we've got some back extension, which I love. I love back extension machines. And of course we have some dumbbells and easy bars. We've got some bars where you can, you know, just load it up with whatever weight you want. So that's an easy bar and a tricep machine. Oh, you can also use it for bicep curls and it's gonna focus on your outer bicep. Okay, squat rack and it has four Olympic bars in it and a bench. What else? We've got Smith machine, which is great because some gyms, they only have one or the other. Okay. And more benches. Um, this one goes decline, incline. So two of them are regular benches and the other two can go decline or incline. And then of course we have dumbbells. All right, moving on to the functional area. This area has not been fully furnished. Um, we've got this really nice rig. So this is basically gonna be a CrossFit area. Um, we're still waiting for approval for the other equipment. So we've got this, all right. That's for wall balls right there. And we got two rigs, call it rig, or storage machine, no, storage equipment. What am I talking about? Yeah, this one. <laughs> yeah, we ordered it because we know that we're gonna get some more equipment in the future. So, you know, we got four air dines, oh, plyo boxes, and four rowing machines, or no, not four, it's actually six. All right, and then we've got our main studio, which is, to be honest, I wouldn't design it this way. Like it's so bare, people would be uncomfortable inside while, they're, while they are doing their classes. I'm talking too fast, anyway. So people are gonna be uncomfortable with people outside looking inside like what's going on. So I don't know, I would have put something to um, maybe a, a tent or something just for it not to be too transparent. You see it? And of course you see that glass right there. Oh, that's not the design, it actually broke. Okay, so we are trying to find a solution for this so it won't be breaking like this. This is actually the second time, at least the second time, as far as I know, that this broke. 
anyway what time is it it's four um yeah this main studio slash, slash aerobic studio it still needs to be furnished like it is so bare okay let's move on to the spin room I still haven't showed you guys the locker room and I think I forgot my other stuff anyway for the spin room there are 15 bikes and well it's actually closed right now the lights are closed so yeah let me show you I don't feel like it, but okay. Okay, so yeah, this is the spin studio and it's really cool. There's gonna be a huge screen right there and it's gonna be so dope. I am so excited. All right, moving on. Oh, this part right here still needs to be, I don't know what they're going to do. I think repaint or something. I have no idea. Because sometimes, you know, when they talk, they don't really speak English. So I'd be like guessing here and there. I can understand some of the words, but I'm not completely fluent. So I just, I just um, rely on translation. Anyway, there's a broken mirror over here. And let's move on to my one of my favorite areas as well. It is the Burn Studio slash MMA studio. But initially, um, we designed this to be an MMA studio, but um, this would eventually be the Burn Studio. So that's why it's not just, you know, punching bags and stuff over here, but also these S Drive. We call it S Drive see or something um oh aroma diffuser this wasn't here last time anyway you see that graffiti over there it is so cool and um what else we've got these punching bags and shit yeah it's so cool right so amazing Anyway, <laughs> I haven't showed you guys the uh, changing room, so we're going to go ahead and go there next. There's going to be a jacuzzi. I'm so excited. It's still not done yet, though. Um, they still have to ship it, and then um, steam and sauna, they're going to install it later. They're still not going to install it because of the pandemic. Anyway, we can't really use it, so yeah. Alrighty, what else? I guess that's it. More wallpapers here. They painted that one. The upper part with the black and they installed lights underneath. So that's really great. Oh, that's a water station and it's super cool. Automatic. Oh, the staff room is still not done, but so this is the staff area and there's going to be like a mini ki mini kitchen installed somewhere and oh this is not for the staff okay that is for this uh, steam sauna jacuzzi area okay moving on hmm. oh they added these lights these lights because I was like, there's something wrong with this area. It's too dark. I don't think this is going to be bright enough at night. So I think I told him it needs more lighting. Yeah. So those things hanging, they are for light. Have I showed you the uh, Mind Body Studio? So anyway, Mind Body Studio looks so dope. It is so cool. I'm a yoga instructor and this is exciting me. I can't wait to hold a yoga class over here. It's gonna be so amazing. 
Yep. Anyway, electrical room. What else? There's kids area, there's nursery and uh, older kids from six to uh, 15 years old. But we still haven't started construction at all for that area, so. Okay, locker area is so amazing because there are a lot of lockers. I remember in my old gym, we had a problem with lockers. There were too many customers we did not expect that it's gonna be that busy, so there wasn't enough locker and people were fighting over lockers. So this this gym doesn't have that problem. It's actually a lot. So that's the locker. The only thing that I think is going to be a problem is the ratio of the toilet. There's not enough toilets. There's only four. So one, two, three, and four. And then shower room. I think four changing rooms. So this is one, two, three, four. Four changing rooms. And this is a storage area. This is a shower room, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six shower rooms and this is another storage area. This is an electrical area. More lockers over here. And this is where, this is where the steam sauna and jacuzzi is. So probably the steam room of the sauna, or the sauna, one of those. And the jacuzzi is gonna be right there. Still not done, like, construction has been really slow lately. Okay, we're gonna move on to the kids area. I love the reception theme, it's so colorful. So this is the reception, okay kids area reception and this is for older kids and the other areas for younger kids it's so dope I want to see this place operate yes so that's it. That's about it for this tour. Um, yeah.